today's video, I am taking you through a Bye Bye Baby and sharing with you what I think the holy grails and fails are throughout the store. If you've been to my channel before, you know that I am fairly frugal when it comes to baby and kid stuff. And while Bye Bye Baby is more on the expensive side of things, I have bought plenty of things there. And if you shop for it, you can find some good steals and deals. So we will jump right into the video. But before we do, I have to shamelessly plug my channel. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. And if you are a current subscriber, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys. Also, I will be giving away a $50 buy Bye Bye Baby gift card at the end of this video, so stick around for the entry details on that. The first thing I love about Bye Bye Baby, and I have signed up for it myself, is their baby registry. I have a quick link that you can use below that takes you to the exact page to sign up for your registry fast. Affiliate links to that and everything else I mention as a holy grail in this video will be linked below to make everything as easy as possible to follow along. But the first reason I like their baby registry is just for signing up for one online. When you go in store, you get a free baby registry freebie bag or gift from them that is full of samples, bottles, coupons, diapers, wipes. I have an unboxing video I will have linked in the description below that you can check out after this. Each Bye Bye Baby location has different offerings in their free registry gift bags but it takes like two seconds to sign up for a registry and then you automatically get one of these freebie bags the next bonus of their registry is you get a 15% completion discount coupon a few weeks before the due date you entered on your registry this can be used on anything in the store as long as it's on your baby registry when you use the 15% completion discount. This is very useful if you have any big splurge items for baby from big name brands that never go on sale and are usually excluded from the regular 20% off Buy Buy Baby coupons. An example of this is let's say you want a luxury stroller of some sort. An example is Baby Jogger. Baby Jogger strollers are not cheap and if you look at the regular 20% percent off Bye Bye Baby coupons. Baby Jogger is one of the many brands that is excluded from the coupon. So if you feel very passionate about getting a brand new, newer model Baby Jogger stroller, Bye Bye Baby is the only place that I know of online that will give you this 15% discount. So it's definitely something that you want to keep in your back pocket and use wisely when you get to your 15% off completion discount window. Next, let's move to baby clothes. Bye Bye Baby is on the pricey side when it comes to clothing a fail I would personally say is any of their basics for clothing even when they have a 25% off sale you're better off buying basics from Walmart or Target for baby or toddler but a holy grail in their clothing section that Walmart and Target don't even really compete in is their basically super bougie baby clothes. If you need anything really dressy or fancy for baby, Bye Bye Baby has what you need. If you're going to a wedding, baptism, or anything that requires a big step up in presentation, Bye Bye Baby has beautiful dresses for little girls and suits for boys. It is not cheap, but if you need something like this for a rare or special occasion, Bye Bye Baby is set up with tons of options for you. And if you keep your eyes peeled, every so often they do have 25% off clothing deals. Another holy grail are their accessories for babies. They have really cute newborn photo shoot girly outfits for $15 to $20. Walmart made a two piece dupe of some of these that retails for only $10, but these are slightly higher quality and come with that additional accessory. So if you really like the additional piece that they have here, it's only $10 more. Ellie and Emmy also has this leopard one, a crochet tutu, a fairy outfit, all for $20, and then this velvet two-piece one is $15. Some other good accessories in store are their hats. They have fun ones for kids, and they're all under $15. Most are under $10. And they also have these cute suspender and bow tie separates for boys, which I'm excited to see cute boy stuff because usually girl moms get to have all the fun when it comes to dress up. Also, don't forget to check out their clearance section. I love the clearance section and at my store it is quite large, so you can spend a good amount of time in there. They always have some high-end items as well that end up over there for a much more reasonable price. Next area we'll cover are rocking chairs and gliders, and this is a holy grail for me at Bye Bye Baby. And that is because the first time I shopped for rocking chairs or gliders, I thought the ones from Bye Bye Baby were too expensive and I passed on it. 
and I ended up getting one off of Amazon. I didn't get to test it out or anything. It came to our house, shipped in pieces. I had to put it all together, and when I finally did, it was a POS, and this might sound extreme, but it kind of ruined my life for a little bit. First problem is it didn't really rock on carpet, which it's called a rocking chair, so it did not live up to its name in our carpeted nursery. So I would use every bit of might, every bit of might in my big toes to try to get it to rock the little bit it would give me. And it, it was just, it was just a waste of everyone's time. I didn't like it and baby didn't like it. So we had to move on from it after it drove me crazy for months and sad to say I didn't really get to enjoy just sitting and rocking with my babies their first several months of life as a result. We eventually went back to Bye Bye Baby. I tested a whole bunch of their gliders and trust me, don't get a rocking chair, get a glider. Gliders are so much better, but I was able to test out a ton of different gliders, figure out which one was most comfortable for me. They made ones that were nice and small so that my feet could touch the ground. It, the gliding just felt like butter. I was comfortable and thus baby was comfortable and we both loved the rocking chair. I still use it now to rock my two year old. And I know that there will probably be some people who disagree with me. This might be some people's baby product regrets if your baby doesn't really like to be rocked, but I'm just speaking from my experience. My kids all like to be rocked and I just had such a bad experience with my first one that I appreciate my one from Bye Bye Baby so much more now. And since gliders are expensive, now is a good time to bring this up. Be sure to sign up for Bye Bye Baby offers. Again, I'll have a link directly below to make it easy but once you sign up and elect to receive coupons you'll get 20% off single item purchase coupons for the store and you can just save those so that when you do make a big purchase and the brand isn't excluded from the coupon you can save a lot of money just be sure to read the fine print because there really are a lot of brands that are excluded from this unlike the registry completion coupon don't wait and sign up when you're already waiting and store about to make a purchase because once you sign up, they don't send you your first coupon for at least 24 to 48 hours. Next fail I was shocked to see their prices on are their baby crib mattresses. Y'all already know my thoughts on cribs. If you don't, watch my baby products I regret buying video. I go into detail on it in that video. If you haven't watched it yet, long story short, they're kind of overpriced baby jails. I bought them and had an adorable nursery, but my, my kids hated sleeping in them and they would crawl out all the time and it was just a disaster, a, a very expensive disaster. But if you want a brand new crib like I did as a first time parent, that's completely understandable. Just at least don't spend 200 plus dollars on a crib mattress. All the Bye Bye Baby mattresses were crazy expensive except just this one. But even this one, you can get perfectly good baby safe rated crib mattresses for $50 or less. And I will have some of those linked below. All the crib mattresses have to pass safety tests and they all have to be extra firm to be safe for baby sleep. So it's not like adult mattresses where there's gonna be all these differences and some firm, some regular, soft, like they all have to be extra firm, safe for sleep crib mattresses. So they're all pretty similar to each other. So save your money. Next, they have a very wide variety of bedding. Almost the entire back wall is bedding and decor options to fit any nursery style. So if you have a very specific theme or color scheme that you haven't been able to find matching decor and bedding for, it's worth looking here. But you do pay a premium for it. And some of their blankets and loveys I noticed, Target actually has dupes for. These loveys and blankets from the brand Just Born at $25 a piece, you can get a similar item for only $15 at Target. And overall, I just wanna state this quick, just because it was something that really confused me when I was shopping at Bye Bye Baby as a first time pregnant mom. And that is, yes, I realize there are millions and millions of blankets all over the store, but in reality, your baby will not be sleeping with blankets. 
When your baby is sleeping in a bassinet or a crib, there should not be any loose blankets, stuffed animals, pillows. If they need extra warmth, they should wear a wearable blanket or a swaddle, but there should not be any loose blankets. So all these blankets that are for sale in Bye Bye Baby are really just for decor until your baby is one and a half. And so I guess not really a baby anymore, a toddler. Baby blankets are really for toddlers. I mean, you can use it as a play mat to help keep them warm when you're out and about during winter, but in terms of sleep, it is not safe for your baby to sleep with a loose blanket. My next holy grail from Bye Bye Baby, for my family at least, is their toiletry items. My family has very sensitive skin, so we only use fragrance-free in my household, and Bye Bye Baby has a lot of staples we need Need for that. We use Baby Gannix brand sanitizer and bubble bath. They have my favorite sunscreen for my kids, which is by the Think Baby brand. I like that it is not a chemical sunscreen and it's just a physical sunscreen. I've also heard great things about the Blue Lizard brand, but I haven't used it myself or seen it at any other store. And I like the Dapple brand. I've used their bottle soap before and it was great for cleaning bottles. The next category is a fail for me, and that is their diapers and wipes section. You can't use the 20% off coupons on diapers and wipes, so you're better off buying from pretty much any other place. Target, Walmart, Sam's Club, Costco, pick any of them and you can pretty much get better prices on diapers there. I tried the Bye Bye Baby brand diapers too to see what I thought and that was a fail too. It's pretty much the same as the Target Up and Up diapers, which I mean they work well enough, so the Bye Bye Baby brand ones work well enough, we're gonna use them up, but they're a lot more expensive than the Target Up and Up brand diapers, so I would rather just get the cheaper ones that are the same. Also, their baby formula is excluded from coupons as well, so that's kind of a fail for me. They don't carry any sort of generic versions, only brand name, so you're better off buying formula somewhere else as well. Then let's move to some of the bigger baby gear items. Pack and plays, swings, high chairs, strollers, car seats, all the bulky and big ticket items. This is a holy grail for me in that I think visiting a Bye Bye Baby if you live close to one is totally worth it because it's nice to actually see and feel some of the items. No other store has as many models of all this baby gear built out for you to actually see and test in store. Now, does Bye Bye Baby have the best prices on all of these items? Mostly no. But if you're interested in some higher end baby gear like the Upa Baby Vista versus the City Select Double Stroller, it's nice to actually test them out and compare them side to side. There's so much out there, it's nice to see what you like in store and then you can price shop online. Maybe if it's a luxury item, you can see how great of a deal you can snag on Facebook Marketplace. You can build out your dream registry and then find deals and used items for less to make it achievable. Next, potentially holy grail if they they continue to have these brands not excluded from their 20% off coupons are some of their baby technology items. As I am filming this on their site, I'm looking at it right now, a lot of their baby video monitors are not excluded from coupons and thus are priced better than the competition if you use it with the coupon. This Infant Optics one is a best seller on Amazon and it's sold at Bye Bye Baby and you can use coupons to buy it. Any of the Motorola, VTech, or Summer Infant monitors, you can apply the coupon as well. Then they have Willow and LV hands-free breast pumps, which have been really growing in popularity because being able to live your life hands-free and not attached to a corded pump sounds like heaven to a mom that spent hours a day, every day, for months on end, attached to a corded pump, not able to do anything. And right now, those are not listed as exclusions. Hopefully, they become covered by insurance soon but until that's the case if you want to purchase a hands-free breast pump this is this is a good option to at least get 20% off the baby Breeza is also not listed as an exclusion I personally didn't use mine but I know there are a lot of moms who swear by it the next category is another holy grail and that is their diaper bags and backpacks I like Bye Bye Baby's selection of diaper bags because they have some really pretty and high quality options. And I liked treating myself and getting myself a nice diaper backpack because you buy so much stuff for baby that it's nice to treat yourself. Even though it, it's kind, you're kind of buying it be, because of baby, but it's still something nice for you. 
I got my Itsy Ritzy Boss bag from Bye Bye Baby and I was able to use my 20% off coupon for it. It has a separate pocket in the back for the changing pad, which was essential to me. The thought of putting the icky changing pad that touched so much grossness in with the rest of my bag that is full of clean, sanitized items creeps me out. So the Itsy Ritzy bag won in my book because it had the separate pocket for the changing pad. There's another option now that I really like by the brand Petunia Pickle that also has the changing pad separate from everything else. And actually the Petunia Pickle one's cool because you unzip it and it kind of folds out from the bag. There is Velcro so you can remove it too, but you can have it all attached in one piece if you choose that. I know there is so much stuff at Bye Bye Baby, so comment below any holy grails or fails that I may have missed. And for the $50 Bye Bye Baby gift card giveaway, all you need to do to enter is leave a comment down below, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me over on Instagram, just at my Zimmy. Then I will announce the winner a week from the post date of this video over on my Instagram stories and DM the winner. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click on one of my other videos that should be flowing over the screen at this point and I will see you in the next video. Bye!